हमारी आईटी की इंडस्ट्री में बहुत सारे ऐसे जेम्स मौजूद हैं जो कि अपना काम बखूबी अंजाम दे रहे हैं और आज जिस पर्सनालिटी के साथ हम मौजूद हैं वो भी हमारी एक आईएसपी इंडस्ट्री के एक बहुत ही नामी ग्रामी नाम है सर थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर टाइम थैंक यू महेश भाई थैंक यू फॉर इन्वाइटिंग मी ऑन योर यूट्यूब चैनल इट्स अ ग्रेट प्रिवलेज फॉर मी टू कम ओवर हेयर थैंक यू सो मच सर सर आई वुड लाइक कि आप अपना थोड़ा सा इंट्रोडक्शन हमारे ऑडियंस को करवा दें या मेरा नाम एसन मतीन है and you can say I have almost 12 year experience in ISP sector and you can say मैंने अपना career ही जो है वो ISP एस पी से स्टार्ट किया एंड करंटली आई एम वर्किंग एज मैनेजर आई पी कोर ऑपरेशन इन वन ऑफ लीडिंग आई एस पी इन पाकिस्तान डिफरेंट आई एस पी के डिफरेंट बिजनेस मॉडल्स होते हैं जिसमें डिफरेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स होते हैं आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट कि जो आप जिस आई एस पी में काम करें वट इज़ द बिजनेस मॉडल ऑफ दैट आई एस पी या बेसिकली वी हैव टू मेजर यू कैन से डिपार्टमेंट्स फॉर द आई पी कोर ऑपरेशन और यू कैन से फॉर द आई पी साइड वन इज़ द नॉक ओके एंड अदर इज़ द आई पी कोर ऑपरेशन द नॉक पार्ट डिपार्टमेंट इज़ बींग हैंडल बाई सम अदर गाय ओके एंड आई एम बेसिकली मैनेजिंग द आई पी कोर ऑपरेशन डिपार्टमेंट ओके सो सर एज ए मैनेजर आई पी कोर नेटवर्क बट आर यूर जॉब रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज I have different roles uh, in this department. First is the you can say the network section in which on which we are providing IP MPLS services. Second is the core infrastructure services, which uh, I am also looking. उसमें हमारे पास जो servers, firewall, load balancers वगैरह आ जाते हैं. So basically, you can say these are do, uh, those servers which uh, ISP or you can say we are using for our own customers, not okay. providing to the customers. Okay. The core services like DNS, email, stuff like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So so you are actually looking एक एक तो आई एस पी की जो बेसिक कोर है जिसमें जितने भी सर्किट्स कॉन्फिग्रेशन है उसकी डिज़ाइन डिप्लॉयमेंट वो आप देख रहे हैं along with that infrastructure services में जो upgradation और जो जो equipments आता है उसकी basic जो जितनी management है वो आपके पास है apart from the आई एस पी कोर नेटवर्क डिवाइस यस एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली वेरी गुड अच्छा सर आपके डिपार्टमेंट में एक बहुत एक आपकी बहुत बड़ी आई एस पी है तो आई पी कोर नेटवर्क्स में इट सेल्फ डिफरेंट रोल्स होंगे डिफरेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स होंगे या डिफरेंट सेगमेंट्स होंगे जिसमें जो इंजीनियर्स हैं वो डिफरेंट टास्क परफॉर्म कर रहे होंगे सो वट आर योर कैटेगरीज इन योर डिपार्टमेंट या बेसिकली हमने जो है इंटरनली सेग्रीगेट किए हुए हैं अपने टीम के रोल्स नंबर वन जो है हमारे पास जो यू कैन से जूनियर इंजीनियर्स होते हैं दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग द लेवल वन इंजीनियर और यू कैन से लेवल वन सपोर्ट रोल एंड देन वी हैव एक्सपर्ट इंजीनियर्स जो कि लेवल टू का काम कर रहे हैं providing so the level 1 engineers basically you can say whenever uh, some uh, normal routine tickets are routed to our department okay. so they handle them and in case if they are unable to handle those queries or they are f- uh, facing any difficulty in it then basically they engage internally level 2 teams okay or level 2 ki jo team hai wo uske upar unko support karti hai aur issue ko resolve karti hai right सर एज एन आई पी कोर में अगर किसी रिसोर्स को आप ऑन बोर्ड करना चाहते हैं सो वट आर द स्किल सेट दैट यू वट आर द जनरल स्किल सेट आई कम टू द लेवल वन एंड लेवल टू एज वेल बट फर्स्टली आई टॉक अबाउट दैट वट इज़ द जनरल स्किल सेट दैट यू आर लुकिंग इन टू दैट कैंडिडेट who are you whom you are onboarding into your ip core networking the you can say the core skill or the you can say must have skills that we are looking it is the networking fundamentals okay, okay. in networking fundamentals i would split it into different categories one is the uh, tcp ip protocol stack okay. okay then i must say you should the candidate should have strong grip on the protocol flow okay like okay. how arc works okay how router works or how switch works like that stuff mm-hmm. and then comes the routing protocol side they should have good grip on i must say on ospf and bgp so these are the uh, you can say the um, uh, mandatory skills that we are looking uh, for in any candidate before hiring it hiring him okay so along with these basic things what are the additional skill set that you are looking into an l1 candidate you know <clears throat> isp is basically pure uh, a routing switching platform where you have to uh, run different protocols so the candidate uh, should have good understanding on routers and switches it okay. is not specific to any vendor because uh, basically in isp we are vendor uh, neutral and uh, any vendor expertise uh, okay. you can say is uh, accepted by us but uh, it could have like 
for any of the vendor, like you take any principal, but it should have a strong understanding of even that principal at least. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Either it could be Cisco, either it could be Huawei, it could be Juniper, it could be anything, right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Uh, so then comes to the level two engineer. Yeah. So for the level two engineer, definitely one of the thing that we uh, look into it uh, is that he should have ISP experience because uh, you know uh, it would be easy for us to for the level two engineer. And secondly, he should be expert of the MPLS. Okay, he should know about uh, how MPLS VPN works, about uh, all the you can say MPLS traffic engineering. So he should have a detailed understanding about it. So for so, level two, yeah, MPLS. And in particularly MPLS traffic engineering, and uh, along with that, uh, uh, some VPLS service. Uh, yeah, the MPLS VPN that I told about in that MPLS VPN section, all L2 VPN, L3 VPN, they all are covered in it. Okay, okay. Yeah. So all L2 and L3 VPNs and MPLS traffic engineering. Uh, along with that, um, he should have an ISP experience. Right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay. In an ISP, we didn't cater about in hi hardware because there are almost all kind of hardwares are in ISP field. Either all all principles hardwares are in ISP field. But definitely, sir, in today's environment, or if, if we put them directly into a production, or if we put them in directly into operations team, we look into that candidate. Okay, if he worked on that particular hardware, right? So he will be like very suitable to directly jump into the operations. Right? So what do you see, or what do you suggest, or what do you? Uh, look into that candidate that what is the hardware skill set that he should have right uh, now. You know uh, in ISP we are using multi vendor okay so we have Cisco, Huawei and Juniper so you can say that uh, we don't prefer any specific vendor nowadays uh, you can say in ISP or telco Huawei footprint is increasing very rapidly and most of ISPs are uh, you can say deploying uh, Huawei routers okay so so, yes, sir, in from 20, 2023 and onwards, a, pers, uh, a candidate should develop his hands-on skills on Huawei infrastructures or on Huawei equipments. Yeah, if he is uh, specifically targeting for the ISP sector, yeah, then definitely it would be, uh, you can say, an advantage to him for knowing about the Huawei products. Yeah, okay, very right. So, from an infrastructure perspective, do you have any separate team to manage the infrastructure or, or will they manage, uh, L1 and L2 engineers are managing these infrastructures? Uh, no, we have a different team for that. Uh, that is a small team you can say that is managing the infrastructure side. And what is the skill set that is required for this infrastructure team? In infrastructure services, we uh, have uh, servers, firewalls and load balancers. So okay. basically, uh, uh, we are expecting from candidate that he should have good understanding of the Linux. Okay, and okay. Uh, in addition to that, uh, the firewall and firewall basically in you can see in an infrastructure we are using cisco firewall okay. so it's preferable that candidate should know about cisco firewall asa okay, okay. okay. and uh, the load balancer okay yeah, so, for infrastructure so for infrastructure perspective uh, you uh, the, the resource should have a knowledge of a firewall and in particular asa yeah and uh, he should also have some knowledge of load balancers and uh, uh, the operating system and in particularly he should, he should have a sound knowledge of Linux. Yeah, on Linux he should know about how to configure different kind of servers in on Linux like DNS servers, email servers, SMTP servers. So okay. Yeah. So That's along with these, I mean, uh, these are the skill set actually a student should have so that you know he would work in your environment. But apart from these things, any skills that you are looking into the candidates that he should have so that he would be preferred candidate. Uh, yeah, basically you can say as uh, our industry is rapidly changing and now things are getting moved towards SDN and network automation stuff. So I think uh, that candidates should uh, focus on these skills as well and uh, you know with future point of with future perspective it's very much uh, you can say important or critical skill you the candidate must have. Okay, so so if, if a person have a knowledge of latest technologies which in perspective of SD WAN and SDX or SD software defined based technology so it will be an added benefit for you. Uh, yeah exactly where in terms of you can say the future that the industry where is moving definitely it's a added benefit. Okay so there's one more thing I would la like to ask uh, in interview uh, what do you see Wh what are the lagness that you mostly see into the candidates? 
yeah again the the thing is that the important skills that i told you about that okay we we'll, uh, look into that and uh, uh, typically you can say i evaluate mostly on the network fundamentals and the packet flow questions okay that i have uh, that i usually ask to clients uh, sorry to uh, the candidates and uh, that what is the one question that they should prepare yeah the one must have question that i mostly like or you can say i ask with the candidates is that what happened behind the scenes if you open any website like for example uh, google.com okay. so uh, initially this question looks very simple uh, but uh, if you uh, see it there are so many details that the candidate should tell about it okay uh, he she has to cover from you can say from the data link layer up to the application layer there are you can say switching involved and then routing section involved and then how dns process works so okay. a lot of things and you can say so you can get a very solid understanding about the candidate and its skill from this single question okay yeah so yeah i mean that's the key of this video i hope when you are coming to sir asen or particularly joining their team or for the interview so do prepare this accordingly <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> uh, so you have spent 12 years in an isp industry so what do you suggest or what do you say to those candidates who are entering into the technical field so how useful isp field to them yeah so what i have seen that uh, nowadays candidates are focusing on you can say uh, good salary rather than good skills yes. and uh, you know in isp you in early stages you ca- don't get good salary but uh, i would advise them that uh, ca- uh, the f- uh, initial candidates or you can say the fresher should uh, focus on the skills in their early uh, stage of their career so isp is a great platform for them to expand their knowledge of the you can say uh, routing and switching because you know uh, we are uh, in isp is the uh, network are of big scale and you have to manage everything at a larger scale so, so you are saying that so isp will build uh, a strong foundation for them In and the perspective of networking yeah and it it, 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 will, it, it will go long way with them yeah exactly it- so at the end can you suggest any online platforms through which students could learn these technologies yeah there are quite a good bunch of uh, platforms uh, nowadays you know everything has become online so things are quite good and okay. uh, the platforms that i would recommend are cbt nuggets and ine and uh, uh, also there are different uh, you can say youtube channels that candidate can go and learn from them okay. in addition to that i would say that uh, there are very great network experts in the industry okay. and uh, so i must say that ca- our candidate should follow them as well to see the latest trends uh, what uh, are going on in the industry i If- hope this video is useful for you in building your career perspective do subscribe to our channel and do like to our videos and we also mention sir essence linkedin profile into our description so if you want to reach out to essence directly you can so thanks bye thank you